Okay, so for cervical proprioception work, we'll be mostly working with our head laser. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have it right in the middle of your forehead. And you wanna focus on having the laser right in the middle of the target with your head in a nice neutral posture. So you wanna make sure that you're adjusting vertically so that you don't have to hold your head up or down to have it centered. Okay, so here we have a target like so. And you can see it's almost just like a clock. So the way that we, we do it here is we stand a set distance away from the target. So maybe I'll wanna go further back to make it more challenging. Um, and then just like our balance training, we can alter our foot position to make it more difficult. So if I'm standing feet shoulder width apart, it's a little easier. If I'm standing feet together or one foot in front of the other, these are ways to progress it. And we can also move to an unstable surface like a BOSU ball to make it even harder. But to start, let's just go feet together, laser on, right in the middle on a target. And this can be a picture, this can be the X on the wall. And what I want you to do is close your eyes, turn your head to the right, come back to the middle, and see how close you are to the middle of the target. Okay, so. That would look like this. You're standing, laser on, the target in the middle. Close your eyes, rotate, come back to the middle and see how far off you are. If you're really off, let's say going from the middle to the right and back to the middle, if you're really far off to the right and you're pretty good to the left, then you wanna focus more on activities to the right. If you're really far off going up and down, versus side to side, then you'll wanna focus on things going up and down. So what I will do is if I'm really off going up and then coming back down, I'll break it into smaller motions. So maybe I'll start with just little motions or maybe I'll do it a few times going a little bit, a little bit further, a little bit further and then full range of motion. So you're trying to build that awareness so that your neck muscles start to build that muscle memory so that you know exactly where you are in space. And then what you can do to even make it um, more difficult is start to do diagonal patterns, head in different positions. You can also do full body turns as well. So, um, and then we can start to go a little, more, a little bit more rapid. So quick motions, quick motions, and uh, continue on like so. So even by adding in two to five minutes, that's enough. And over time, you'll see the accumulation effect. So the first time it might be a little more challenging uh, as you do it for a few weeks. So you'll start to see that it should get easier and easier and you can start to challenge yourself more and more. And then what we can even do is work to the point where we're doing it with motion. So you have a target, you're walking off to the side, back to the middle. Okay, so give that a try. Let me know how it goes.